Thank you very much for that and uh, good afternoon everyone. It's terrific to be back in the Mount. Uh, I grew up out the road at a place called Glencoe on a dairy farm and uh, it was great to hear Robbie talking about spuds before because um, our footy team, the Mighty Murphys, have a potato as their emblem and um, I don't think there's too many football clubs anywhere in the world that have a spud as, uh, as, their, uh, as their emblem. But um, it's been good to hear all the talks here this, uh, this afternoon and, um, and this morning and uh, I guess our next area of discussion is all about collaboration and we've already been doing that today listening to the stories of uh, you know people's successes people's things that didn't work so well the learning experiences that they've had along the way and um, we as a government I think can play a really important role in helping people come together because we actually deal with people over here and people over here and you go well you know what you're actually a little bit similar to some people over here or you're facing an issue that someone has faced before and bring those people together. And I think the South East is probably a good example of uh, where collaboration hasn't always worked well. And um, I remember coming back here a cu couple of years ago and um, you know, the, some tourism people were saying, how come the Barossa gets all this and Kangaroo Island gets all this? They get it because they work together and they come to government with a clear idea about what it is that they want to achieve for their area. They come to us with ideas. And here there were hundreds and hundreds of um, tourism operators and only I think 35 who were members of the uh, of the local tourism association and you know Biddy does a fantastic job um, down here you know, running the association since that two years ago we've seen Steve Perryman and a few of the uh, tourism operators get together and the collaboration has been absolutely terrific so um, um, and they're getting a lot more um, visits from the South Australian Tourism Commission and the chairman comes down here, I'm down here quite a bit, because they're speaking with one voice and they have a direction that they want to head. And I think that goes for pretty much all of the sectors that, uh, that we have responsibility for, whether it's across fishing or, or food or wine or agriculture, any of those areas. The, 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 the sound we like most to hear as a government is the united voice of a sector or a region and sometimes it's regions that collaborate together and a good example of that was a few years ago with uh, McLaren Vale facing um, the prospect of urban sprawl um, and gutter to gutter housing taking over all of the agricultural land down there. We started up a, f uh, a fight to get uh, legislation, couldn't get a lot of interest for people and then I was up in the Barossa and um, Margaret Lehman said, I love what you're doing down there, that idea is good. I said, we, we just can't get the cut through, you know? And she said, well, we'd love to do what you're doing as well. So we actually brought the Barossa and McLaren Vale, who traditionally sort of see each other as rivals um, about who produces the best wine. And they came together and then no one could ignore the pleas of our two biggest uh, wine regions in, uh, in South Australia. And so we got support within our party, we got the opposition support, and we got legislation through parliament to uh, make sure that we protect uh, the agricultural lands of both Barossa and McLaren Vale. The other great collaboration I've seen in the last couple of years is on the delegations that we've taken to China. And I know there's many people in the room who come on those from local government and from private enterprise. So the Premier leads these delegations. This year we had about 300 um, going up to Shandong province. And the, the really interesting thing to see there is not only the communication between the South Australian businesses and the Chinese businesses, but it's about the South Australians who are on a bus together or they're at a you know, function together and, and they're talking about what it is that they do, what their experiences have been and, um, and the opportunities really open up because it, you know, we're not competitors with each other. We've got you know, um, great opportunities to grow the pie and sell more of what it is that we produce or produce more of what we have. And um, so I think collaboration is, is, is a wonderful um, thing. And um, as I said, we've already heard a lot of stories today and um, we'll take away some really outstanding messages and hopefully we can all do a better job in the future from the learnings that we've had today. I'd really like to thank uh, Jeff Brock and the people from uh, Regions SA and the Department of State Development and also Brand SA, Karen Raffin and her team for, uh, for putting this on. It's terrific for um, people to get out into the regions, um, particularly ministers. We spend a fair bit of time on the road, don't we, Brocky? And, um, but uh, to have you know, four ministers here is, is great and to have people come from uh, you know, a long way away. It's the people from the, the West Coast are, are, are down here and um, it's, it's terrific that uh, Mount Gambia has been able to uh, showcase their area for everyone for a couple of days and that everyone could travel so far. So I hope everyone has a, uh, 
um, a, a good opportunity to learn a few things for the for the rest of the day and take home some uh, really good lessons. So thanks again for uh, for your participation.